Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I want to talk to you about file formats and we're on the Luminaire right now. I saved this little design first in my design center to my USB stick. When I saved it, it was a PM9 format. That's like P like Paul, M like Mary, and nine like the number nine. When I saved it on the embroidery side, the extension that is added is a PHX extension. Now on the machine side, you can also save your Disney designs to your pocket on your machine, but you cannot save them to your USB drive or any external drive. It will not let you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to look at the Dream Machine in just a moment to see if it can open up any of these files. But before we do that, I'm going to go to my USB stick and show you something. You'll see the format PHC on the Dream Machine. When you save a file in my design center, it's a PM9 file. When you save it in embroidery, it becomes a PHC file. Now, the significance of this is even though this PM9 file is the same file format as my design center, the Dream Machine was created before the Luminaire. So there's not upward uh, capabilities. That means just like if you went out and you tried to open a PE Design 11 PES file and PE Design 8, you cannot do that. You have to have a version that is the equivalent. And there's something about this file that it just cannot read it. And to confirm that, I when I say this in my design center, if I go back into my design center here, and let's do that, and we'll just change here and go to my design center. And what we're going to do is go to the pocket and we're looking in the pocket on the USB drive to see if there are some files that it are coming from the Dream Machine. You see these with the question mark? Those are the ones coming from the Dream Machine. It cannot read those files. All right, we're going to take our USB stick and we're going to spin around and let me unplug the power from my camera. Hopefully we have enough juice. And we're spinning around so we can go to the dream machine. And bear with me a moment. So I have to really work to get this machine into the camera because I have it on an old sewing machine cabinet. What we're going to do is go to home and we'll go to my design center. And the first thing we're going to do down in the bottom, and let me adjust the camera so you can see this. Okay, at the bottom, these are your memory pockets. We'll move this camera just a little bit more. I'm sorry about all the jostling, but you're wanting to retrieve it from the pocket. So we're going to go to the pocket and the, with the blue and we're going to try to retrieve from the B pocket. Now, you see all these unhappy faces? These are the PM9 files from the Luminaire. The Dream Machine cannot read those files. It's reading the file that's the PM9 file right here that came from the Dream Machine. So that tells you that you cannot exchange your My Design Center files between your two machines. All right, we'll choose cancel. And let's go back to home and we're going to go to embroidery and in the embroidery side what we're going to do is we're going to go to the memory pocket again and we'll go to the B pocket and here what you see are PHC files PHC files again come from the dream machine this is the embroidery side so it can open up the PHC files and you can save your designs from your dream machine like your luminaire can open up all of these phc files it cannot open up the pm9 files and you don't see the phx files on this stick they're not here they're not appearing so this is to show you what you can and cannot open on your machine and that is 
You cannot open your embroidery designs from your Luminaire to your Dream Machine and sings true between the Solaris and the Destiny. And you cannot open up the My Design Center coming from the Dream Machine to the Luminaire. You can, however, open up embroidery designs that you save on your Dream Machine to a USB stick and you can take them in to your Luminaire. You, from both machines, you can import embroidery designs being the PHC and the PHX into PE Design 11, save them as a PES format and you're good to go. I hope this information has been helpful to you. It's my, always my pleasure to help you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and join us with the Facebook group, Just Stitching with a Brother Luminaire. Thanks and have a great day.